Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from Massachusetts is recognized for five minutes in support of his motion. This is the final amendment to the bill. It will not kill the bill or send it back to committee. If adopted, the bill will proceed immediately to final passage as amended. We all agree that the men and women who serve our, in our nation's military should be afforded every opportunity to live the American dream that their lives to defend. Unfortunately, too often our service members, veterans and their families fall victim to unfair and abusive financial practices. In 2014 alone, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau received more than 17,000 complaints from service members, veterans, and their families on a variety of, of issues from deceptive subprime auto lending to troublesome credit card fees and predatory mortgage loans. That same year, the CFPB was able to return more than $1.6 million to these families. The CFPB is a vital watchdog for American consumers. The bill before us today would delay the enforcement of the CFPB's rule regarding disclosures that mortgage lenders must provide to home buyers. Additionally, the bill would permanently eliminate a borrower's ability to enforce his or her legal rights if a lender fails to disclose or obscures important information for all loans originated over the next five months, so long, or, so long as the error is made, quote, in good faith, a term that the bill does not define and that substantially narrows existing protections for consumers afforded under the Truth in Lending Act. The mortgage industry has had nearly two years to implement these new disclosure requirements and was given an additional grace period this year. And despite assurances from the CFPB director that the agency would implement a restrained enforcement process that takes into account the industry's good faith effort to comply, this legislation could leave millions of American home buyers without the legal protection to which all citizens are entitled. The amendment I am offering today would allow our service members, veterans, seniors, and students, some of our nation's most vulnerable populations, with the opportunity to seek their day in court if a mortgage lender acts in bad faith. As we learned following the 2008 financial crisis, far too often the people with the fewest resources pay the heaviest price when they are deceived by bad actors in the financial marketplace. While reasonable people can disagree on the merits of the underlying bill, I hope we can all agree that our service members, veterans, students, and seniors deserve the consumer financial protections the CFPB offers. That's what this amendment would help to achieve, and I urge your support. I yield back 